Hey guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how you can actually animate on Roblox. Animations are basically like, uh, you know when you swing a sword in a game and your hand moves in a specific way? Or like uh, when you're bench pressing in a weightlifting game and you actually do the movement, okay? Those are animations. Everything that your character does, which includes the moving of the uh, joints, I guess, or like... Uh, you know, for example, if you swim, you know how your hands move and you pedal, I guess, with your legs. Uh, that's animations, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to make those in this video. So the first thing that you need to do is go to plugins, top tab right there. Uh, and you need to build a rig, okay? So what this is going to do is actually create a dummy or like this sort of player type-esque thing I guess which you can actually experiment on which you can actually create your animations on okay so then once this pops up uh, you'll be faced with uh, R6 or R15 so what this is is basically this is the old the original okay uh, Roblox body you know with the six parts the torso the legs the hands the head um, if you click on block this is it okay so one two three four five six parts okay so let's just remove this and uh, go back to build rig. And R15 is basically the new sort of body type of Roblox, okay? The one with 15 parts. That's why it's 15 and this is why it's 6, okay? Uh, if you click on block rig, uh, as you can see, it has 15 parts and I'm going to count all of them. Um, so basically, the rigs are like these different variations of the body type. So if you spawn in block, and then spawn in a mesh rig actually yep it's gonna spawn in the mesh rig right there um, same thing just different uh, body meshes I guess so just use whatever you want okay so I'm gonna use the mesh rig just for the sake of like accuracy I guess so just click on the mesh rig uh, I'm also going to be using R15 so if you want to animate in R6 it's much easier although nowadays uh, R6 animations are becoming outdated, so I'd suggest using R15. Okay, click on Mesh Rig, uh, and this is basically our dummy, what you're going to be like experimenting on, okay? So now we actually need to open up the animation editor right here, okay? Click on this, uh, and then it's telling you to uh, select a rig to animate, okay? So click on the rig, okay? And now it's asking you to create the uh, animation's name. So let's just call this testing. You can call this whatever you want, okay? And bam. If it doesn't ask you that, it's fine. Don't, no worries, okay? So now, uh, if you click on any of the body parts, okay, you're going to be faced with this. These sort of like uh, rings, I guess, okay? Different colors represent different axes, axes, I guess, whatever you call those. Um, so basically, whenever you see these rotations right here, okay? these rings I guess uh, it's showing you which direction it's going to rotate in if you decide to um, drag this around so let's just click on the head okay to show you guys what that does um, click on this blue uh, sort of like orb here and hold down okay with your right mouse I mean your left mouse button okay and just rotate it around on the ring okay like this see how it's moving based on the ring okay so that's what this basically tries to show you <clears throat> same thing for the uh, red line ring whatever I don't know why I can't really like you know but just bam you can go clockwise and anti-clockwise like this and then you have the yellow ring okay so same thing <clears throat> same thing um, yeah so that shows you which direction they move in okay so now we click r r you know the letter r on your keyboard um this will switch to actually moving the the uh, parts so this won't rotate this will actually you know just bam you know move your actual limb so it's quite handy to know how to undo a mistake so just press ctrl z uh to undo this so if i do this accidentally ctrl z uh, not sure if there's actually undo file 
Mm, not sure. I'm not gonna like try and find this now. Um, so yeah, same thing with the lines. Shows you which direction they're moving. Um, now let me show you how the structure of the Roblox character works. Okay, so for R15, okay, everything is centered with this sort of humanoid root part. You see this sort of like selection box here. That's the humanoid root part. Okay. Um, also, I think, yeah, this is the upper torso. This is the left, I mean, the right shoulder, right hand, wait, no, right arm. And this is the right hand. Okay. So same thing for the other side, just left. Okay. Now this is the foot, the left foot. Okay. This is the, you know, just the leg basically. It just has three parts. Okay. Three parts, three parts again. And now for the torso, there's two parts. There's the lower torso and there's the upper torso. Okay. So this basically represent, I mean, if you click R again, this, uh, is responsible for like arc arching your back like this, something like this looks pretty natural. Um, this is responsible for actually rotating around the entire cat. I mean, yeah, just rotates the entire character around like this. So if you want to do a flip, you need to rotate this around. Okay. Uh, the head just rotates the head. So that's pretty much the basics. Okay. So now, uh, I'm going to teach you guys how you can actually make this do something. Okay. So let's make a wave animation. Pretty simple. Um, so, um, I'm going to teach you guys a concept. Okay. Um, uh, this, let's just right click delete and show you what it's going to be like if you haven't done anything yet. Okay. Just click on the, any part you want. Let's just animate this for, for now and just click. Okay. Bam. See how there was a node created here. This is a keyframe. Okay. So basically at zero seconds, as you can see here, uh, it's going to do something with the left arm, left upper arm. Okay. So also something I wanted to show you guys, um, this is the length of the animation in minutes. Okay. So let's just make this zero minutes, like three second long animation. Maybe, um, not sure if this is, I'm not sure why this is doing this. Let, let me just check something. Uh, I'm not sure why this isn't working actually. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, back. So I realized why. Um, let's just delete this and restore it to where we were. Um, so if you click here and hold or drag, I guess. Um, I mean, by the way, guys, this is in seconds, my pal. Okay, it's not in minutes. Um, if you just click and drag, it's going to iterate through the timeline which is up here. Okay. So at 0 0.06 seconds, um, it's going to do something 0 0.012. If you click on here, it's going to do that. Okay. Um, so let's say at 0, 0.0 seconds. Okay. We just want to include the left upper arm. Okay. So to include the left upper arm, um, as we did here, uh, we just click and sort of, yeah, just click on one of the sort of orbs. Same thing for this, because we want this to be included. Uh, now this is included, okay, in the animation. Uh, now this is also included, the hand, but we don't want the upper torso in this, okay? Actually we do, but we don't want the left foot, okay? So just click on these three dots and delete track, okay? Uh, we also don't want the lower torso, just delete track too. So everything which is included here. Okay. will be animated. Okay. So if you're playing this over a, another animation, um, pretty much this is going to be affected. If you, um, are walking and play an animation and the left foot is being animated. Okay. While you're walking, the left foot is being animated. Okay. Actually this is, yeah, the left foot. Um, Basically, uh, if you play your animation and this is not included in this list, this is just going to keep on doing what it was doing. Okay. So if it was walking, it's going to keep on walking. Okay. But these are going to stop. Okay. And do whatever you are going to do here. 
okay um another another tip okay just click on these three dots animation priority most of the time you're going to be using action okay so action is where you want it's the top priority okay for an animation um basically you want it to just play over any other animation so if you're walking and you want to wave you don't want to just keep on walking okay you want your wave animation to show so you just um do that okay so let's actually make this person wave because it's been a while now uh let's say let's make this three seconds yeah three second animation okay uh, at one second just dra click on one second i guess and 10 milliseconds you want his hand to go up to here okay so now if you just click hold and go back you're gonna see his hand sort of like sliding back and forth according to you know your movement um so yeah now we also want this uh this to like rotate like this okay let's hope we're not uh, breaking his shoulder or anything um so as you can see it's gonna go bam um okay and it's gonna go up to here we also want this arm to slightly be bent uh let's move this forward press r to change to the move tool and bam so now see how his hand is just going up hey buddy um now at time is equal to maybe around here i guess this is maybe 140 seconds maybe 150 seconds close to that we want his hand uh, switch to rotation again by pressing r uh to go all the way up here let's move this slightly downwards to make it look nice um if we play by clicking this uh it's a bit slow because you know you you're waiting an entire second to do that so let's just click on this this is basically the keyframe at one second 10 milliseconds so just drag this backwards and make it happen at like one minute i mean one oh my god 10 milliseconds okay just drag this backwards too like this and um yeah so now it should just we don't need three seconds honestly so let's just make this one second okay bam so now if you click this it's gonna happen much much faster okay so actually we might need like two minutes i mean two oh my god why do i keep saying two minutes two seconds okay so now like this at 0.2 milliseconds i guess uh 0.2 seconds okay my oh my god i'm i'm just a mess today i'm sorry um so like this going all the way like this okay according to your animations okay now at around maybe just slightly after 0.21 seconds uh we want it to like do this just go down like this let's also make this so he's gonna like lower his hand and start the wave gesture i guess at 0.24 seconds okay it's gonna go way up again and this is also gonna like bend now you can right click and uh, copy and if you just move this around and right click paste bam you just copy this uh, let's just make this a bit more so let's just see how it looks okay just click play okay see that was just way too fast so let's just space these out more uh, by spacing these out basically um, what you're doing is you're taking longer to actually achieve the desired position okay so that's why that works um, click play hey buddy yeah that works I guess that's okay um, so now I'm gonna introduce you to another concept okay so like if you just click play not the nicest uh, you know animation I guess but it's 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 okay it's your first animation okay so don't be too hard on yourself uh, maybe make it a bit more dramatic like this let's see how this looks that looks way too robotic but you know it's not even nice anymore so just undo this 
Okay, so it kind of looks like a wave that like a cyborg might give you, but it's okay, it's okay, okay. Um, now, new concept, okay? Looping. So basically, whenever the animation ends, it's gonna go like this, basically. Bam. But in our case, since we gave it extra seconds, it's gonna go all the way to two seconds, and once it's done, it's gonna end, okay? It's just gonna stop, okay? So, what we want to do is actually loop it. So looping, just when it ends, it doesn't stop, okay? It just goes back to the start, does it again, back to the start. It just keeps on going like that forever, okay? So just click this to enable looping, and bam. As you can see, it's just gonna keep on doing the animation, okay? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much looping. So to make the looping smooth, okay, uh, you should let's just click on here to create a keyframe okay bam keyframe uh you should copy the first um keyframe and paste it as the last okay what this does is it ensures that the animation is smooth okay so let's just show you guys how to look as you can see um it doesn't look like if we delete this uh, delete and play it's gonna look really weird okay it's just gonna teleport into place we don't want that so bring that back um, click play and it looks smooth ish I guess okay um, what you could have also done actually is actually incorporated the head to make the movement sort of nice so let's just make it's gonna look really weird but you know it's gonna be okay uh, and then make his head adjust like this. It might look more creepy. Actually, it makes it look more kind of natural, I guess. So, yeah, you can do that. Just experiment around with your animation to make it look nice, okay? So that's basically, uh, yeah, that's how you animate. You can do different things. You use looping for stuff like uh, uh, running animations. So the first step happens okay in a running animation and then you go back to the original position and do a another step okay and it keeps on looping and you just have like a really nice animation so just make sure that you actually practice because this uh doesn't just increase in quality over over time you just need to actually practice like a lot so yeah don't be too hard on yourselves you guys can do it um Animation is not that difficult. You can actually even make Robux from this. Just commission yourself. Um, make animations for people, basically. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be about, but uh, I'll figure it out. So, uh, thank you all for watching. See you. Guys, um, I accidentally forgot to tell you guys how you can actually upload your animation, how you can actually save it, basically. So. Let's just say you did this, bam, bam. You know, just I'm just making a random animation really quick because I forgot. Um, so now your animation is done. So you just click these three dots, go to save as new, and just call it whatever you want. And there's gonna be a local copy, okay? A local copy is basically like uh, it's only gonna be in your place, okay? Uh, if you want to actually upload it to Roblox, so only you can use it. Just go to uh, export. Uh, then go to create new and just name it whatever and then click finish okay um then if you want to actually import it so like imagine you close your place and now you actually want to get back to editing your animation click on import from roblox and find your animation from like here okay so uh sorry about me forgetting how to show you guys uh how you can actually you know import and export animations uh if you want to load it uh just click here load bam okay uh thanks for watching again uh see you